Hello everyone, and welcome again. In this tutorial, we will learn, how to set up multiple monitors in Windows 10. Before setting up multiple monitors in Windows 10, I assume that you have already connected an additional monitor to your computer, either it is a notebook or desktop, and have properly plug in all the wires, and you may also require to configure some BIOS settings as well, to enable dual monitor support. For instance, on my ECS, A55 F2, motherboard, I have to configure my BIOS to enable, dual monitor support, and I have connected one monitor on inbuilt VGA port of the motherboard, and the second monitor is connected to AMD Radeon R7200 series PCI Express card. If you have properly connected both monitors, and have also configured the BIOS settings properly, then you don't need to configure anything in Windows itself. When you connect an additional monitor to your computer or notebook, Windows 10 automatically detects the additional monitor, and start displaying your Windows desktop automatically. However, you can configure some multiple monitor settings according to your preferences. To do this, right click on an empty area of your desktop, and then choose display settings from the context menu. If Windows has already detected and installed the additional monitor drivers, then you will see 1 and 2 number in the preview pane, indicating that Windows has already detected and set up multiple monitors. If you are still seeing only one number in the preview pane, then you can click detect link, and Windows will try to look, if there is an additional monitor has been connected. If Windows fails to detect any additional monitor even if you have properly plugged in all the wires, then you may need to look into your BIOS settings for any dual monitor support option, or you may also require to install the add-on VGA card drivers, where you have plugged in your second monitors. Once you are done, and Windows detected both the monitors, then it is the time to configure some additional multi-monitor settings. Clicking on Identify link will display numerical number 1 and 2 on both monitors, telling you that Windows is assuming which monitor as number 1, and which one the number 2. If number 1 and number 2 monitor are not as you want, like you want the number 2 to be number 1, and number 1 monitor to be number 2, then you don't need to change wire settings, or monitors positions. You can do this right from the display settings window. To change the position of monitors in Windows, simply drag and drop the monitors in the preview pane, and you don't need to change the position of monitors physically. This setting determines that which monitor is set up on your left side, and which one is on the right side. But the next problem could be that, you might want to set the number 2 display as your main display. Then just select the second computer from the preview pane, and then click make this my main display. Apply the changes, and in an instant, your main desktop with all its icon and the taskbar will be shifted to your second display, which you just made as your main display. You can revert back any time, by making your first display as the main display again. Depending on either you have connected to display to a desktop computer, or with the notebook, you might see different or additional options under multiple displays drop down menu. Like, as I have connected these two display with a desktop computer, I have these three options in the list. The first option is, extend these displays, which is usually will be the default option for desktop computers with multiple displays, and is widely used everywhere. This option extend the Windows display to both monitors, and ultimately giving you a larger area for work. Let's first apply this setting, and see what we can do with extended display. The best thing that you can do with multiple monitor with extended display is, you can move applications between both display. To move an application to other display, just grab it from the top edge or title bar, and drag it from one monitor to another. That's it. So multiple monitors will make it easy for you, when you need to have an eye on one screen, and work on the second at the same time. Ultimately making you more productive when you need to work with a lot of apps in a time, and you may not require to minimize certain applications, or switch between apps when you need to work on at least two applications at the same time. 
You can even play a video on one screen, and can work on your office application at the same time on other screen. For any reason if you want to switch back to one screen, then you can do this from the display settings window without actually disconnecting any monitor. From the multiple displays drop down, choose which monitor you only want to see, either number 1 or number 2, and the other will be switch off right away. Then you have the option to change the orientation of monitors. In orientation you have four options, landscape, which will be the default for wide screens, then you have portrait, and then portrait flipped, so landscape flipped. If your both monitors have wider screens, then you may not require to change the orientation, as the landscape is best option for wider screens, until you have settled your monitors in a different position. For instance, if I have to rotate and place one of my monitor in vertical position for some reason, then I can change the orientation from landscape to portrait, so the contents can be fit and seen nicely on that particular monitor, and there you have the example right away. And for any reason, if you have to place a monitor on a 360 degree rotation, like completely upside down, then you can use the options, landscape flipped or portrait flipped, where windows will rotate the display to 360 degrees on an upside down monitor, and you will be able to see the contents properly. If you need to configure more advanced settings, like screen resolution, color and text settings, then you can click the advanced display settings link, and here you can choose different resolution for both monitors, if they are different in sizes, or can configure color and text settings as well. People having accessibility problems can also enlarge the size of text, applications and other items that they see on the screen from the previous window. Changing this setting might require you to log out and log in back to your user account. To quickly switch between different multiple monitor settings, you can also press Windows plus P key to bring some multiple monitor options. As I told you before, depending on either you are setting multiple monitors with a desktop or laptop, you might see different settings accordingly. So this was an overview about setting up multiple display on a Windows PC. Hope you may have liked this video. Tell us by leaving your comments in the box below. You can also watch our video about setting up different wallpapers on multiple displays. Don't forget to hit the like button, and do share this video with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching, and take care.